me to this episode of the counselor's desk. Today it's all about the men. I know, I know I promise that I'm going to uh, continue on this issue of uh, some advantages that women have over husband, uh, their husbands that make them think they are superior. But I thought I've changed my mind. Let me uh, define the word uh, submission because I realize that men may have a different definition of submission from what women have. So it's all about a man. Call a brother, call a husband, or why not a sister? Call somebody, sit down and watch. My definition of submission is not the one you will find in the most dictionaries. You can Google it, you will not see it. Why? Because it's not conventional, but it is practical. I mean submission in marriage. Um, I, I, I decide, I've decided to look at submission as two words put together. Let sub be a prefix, okay? To the word mission and if you look at sub as a prefix you realize that sub just means under okay and then if you look that is uh, it's there in the dictionary because i actually did some some work here and then if you look at a mission the the, the dictionary defines mission as a set of tasks that full uh, fulfills a, a purpose or a duty uh, an important assignment carried out for political, religious, or commercial purposes. So when the Bible says uh, the wives submit, you know, to your husband, have a, a submission to your husband, the way I see it, the wives have to follow or go under a mission. The husband... You know, the husband should be going somewhere, should have a mission, a purpose in life. So if you look at submission as going under the, the, the leading of somebody with a mission, it should be very easy and very clear to the husbands to uh, uh, get their wives submit to them easily, without stress, and you know, willingly and joyfully do the submission. Okay? Now see, <clears throat> a young man illustrated this point so vividly. A young man and a young girl. This young man left his town where he was uh, working and came to my ho our house to spend a weekend with us in order to, <clears throat> to, court, to court a girl in our town. They had met somewhere else and uh, the girl was in the university in my town and so he, he was working. So he came for a weekend. And uh, this young man is very close to me. I don't want to call his name. Let's just use the name Johnny. Johnny came and told me, you know, he, he, there's a girl here he likes so much he wants to court the girl. So they had already planned to go out. He came on a Thursday. They had planned to go out to a neighboring city, we we'll call it Duala, for some, you know, shopping, just to be around, just to be together a whole day. So they went to Duala. They, they did window shopping. They even bought some things. They took breakfast in some, uh, you know, cafeteria, high-class cafeteria. They, 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 they had lunch in a Chinese restaurant. You know, they had snacks. They went to ice cream shops. They had a great time. And they came back that evening. And Johnny told me, I mean, he was so excited. He said, this girl is definitely interested in him. And that the next day, that was a Saturday, they had planned to go to another neighboring town, Limbe, a seaside town, where they'll spend the, the <laughs> they'll spend the day at the seaside, and they did that. Oh, they were at the beach. Oh, they ate uh, they ate barbecued fish, fresh fish. They, they had a great time. They chatted on every topic under the sun. And when he came back that evening, he had to travel back to his town on Sunday so that he could go to work on Monday. And he told me that 
no, when we discussed, we knew that the, 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 the fruit was ripe for plucking. So he knew he would go back home and then did some phone calls, continue by phone calls and then come back and do the proposal. It was all settled. Wow, the next week we had a program in that girl's church. I saw her and I called her. I said, oh, ah, I, I heard you had a great time, you know, last weekend with uh, my, you know, I told him who the young guy was to me. <laughs> she said, excuse me, mama, if you are talking about Johnny, no, we are calling him Johnny, right? If you are talking about Johnny, if Johnny thinks he's thinking about marrying me, let him forget about it. What? Let him forget. Let him forget about it. So I said, why? You people had a great time. He said, listen, <laughs> mommy, I spent two good days with Johnny, trying to find out his aspirations, his goals, his ambitions, his dreams. I wanted to know who he was, or I wanted to know his personality, you know, but to my surprise, for two days, Johnny could say, could say nothing concrete to me, in spite of all the questions I asked him, all the many topics I brought up for discussions, mommy, he is going nowhere, he's going nowhere in life, he said, I can't be married to a man who is going nowhere, or who can't figure out where he's going to. He said, Mommy, the outings were a waste of my time. My God. Hello, husbands. Hello, men. Are you out there? Are you listening to me? And it was so strange to me because Johnny was somebody who was very, 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 very close to me. Uh, and the girl knew. This young lady knew. You know, so... <laughs> When I'm talking about mission, your mission, I'm talking about this. This young man was so blessed that he met a girl who could, uh, who could verbalize what she wanted. Many women don't know that this is what they are looking for in a man. They don't know. But when they get married to the man and they get into the, uh, they, they wonder, I mean, where is this man going to? Where is this man going to? And they find it so difficult to submit under a man who has no mission. He's submitting under what? Hello? Today I said it's all about the men. So, I mean, what is your mission? Where, does your wife know where you are going to? You know, this girl, I've written about this girl in my book. Well, well, let's not talk about that for now. And I've told you what she was looking for. I've tried to analyze what she was looking for. But one of them is she needed a man whom she could respect. You know, and she couldn't respect a man whom she would have to prop up all the time because left to himself, he will crumble. Like a pack of cats because he's going nowhere. He can't stand a man who is so too weak. He, I mean, he's going nowhere. Look, if you want... It is easy for a woman to be submissive to a man whom she considers a man. And it's very difficult for a woman to be submissive to a man whom, according to her, is not man enough. And I said, according to her. Okay? Are we together? Good. So, it is your duty to find out from your wife what she considers a man, a ma or manliness, manly or manliness. I hope you're getting what I'm saying. These are things you should have known during courtship if you were vigilant enough. I said this journey was lucky enough. That girl understood these things and just asked him to, 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 to keep his distance because according to her, he was going nowhere. But you know, according to another girl, another girl, Oh, she was, you know, everything she could, re he was everything she could respect. So, it just depends upon you and your wife. Okay, are we together? Great. So, have a mission. Let your wife know. I read, I read an article, I'm going to talk about it in subsequent editions. The, 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 the writer of the article was asking the husband, he said, who, I mean a couple, said, who among the two of you always say, Baby, let's go out to eat. Baby, 
let's arrange our finances baby let's make a budget who among the two of you always say let's 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 if it's not the man the wife will have difficulties okay good so have a mission and let her know the mission secondly I want to talk about this issue of your leadership role hey listen to me you can't just be a leader to your wife alone your leadership roles out of the home will help her respect you in the way what did I say your leadership roles out of the home will help her respect you in the home if you are always declining from leadership positions and I say out of the home that is maybe your your office maybe your 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 community maybe your tribal meetings wherever when you pick up a leadership role and you do it well she respects look women like to know that my husband is a good leader something happened to me just recently that is underscoring this point a young man was asked to preach to deliver a sermon in his church and uh, it's because it's, it's young adults the young adult leader was not there and he really wanted the young adult leader to be there so that he could take the he could preach and he tried to convince this guy and the guy could not be there so he took the bull by the horns prepared the message and delivered it powerfully my god after the message I walked towards his where his wife was sitting. The wife jumped up and said, Hey, mama, my husband, eh? Hey, my husband, my husband, eh? I'm telling you, mama. You know, she said, if it's when you see him singing, you think that that is his greatest gift. When you see him acting, you think that that is his greatest gift. Right now, just see him preaching. Oh, mama, my husband, eh? Listen. Why? Because he took the, re the leadership position by the horns and did it well. When you decline from a leadership position and another person does it, maybe you are in a meeting, a group, another person takes it over and does it well. You know what you are telling your wife? He is more a man than me. He is more of a man than me. And many men do this. You are going nowhere. You can't live out of the home. Why do you think you can lead her in the home? I challenge you. Make it easy for your wife to be submissive. Okay? Make it easy for her to be submissive. And this is not only to those who are married. Even those in, re in a relationship. Your, the, the girl you're going to marry should already start looking at you as somebody who can lead not only her lead in the society somebody who has a mission so in essence i am saying that submission is a woman running along with your mission okay so you must have one and you must let her know and secondly you cannot lead her if you cannot lead in the society and by society i don't just mean some big political leadership i mean any kind of leadership that you know you find yourself in you cannot recline for me and expect her to think that you are man enough for her to follow you okay we'll be coming right back with all the you know there's there's so much to say but i just need to say one or two things each given episode okay so god bless you and please Make it easy for us wives to submit to you. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. Click the, button, the bell and then like it and share it. It will bless people.